What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. When you think of the United States of America, you think about the big B's. Big business, big belt buckles, and big burgers. We got the Big Mac, the Whopper, the Baconator. We have enough beef in this country to make a vegan consider moving to Atlantis. But the problem with these big burgers is they're loaded with fat, the condiments and the cheeses are adding even more calories, you're gonna need a bigger belt buckle, and they aren't anabolic enough for what we're trying to do. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change that. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic Texas Toast Double Barbecue Burger. High in protein, loaded with flavor, a real gourmet burger right at your house. If you've been wanting a big burger but you don't want a big belly, then look no further than this recipe because I promise it just might change your life. And if you got that RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link in my description box has been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of the recipes you see on this channel and some that aren't. With this diet and these recipes, we can still eat the foods we love without sacrificing them gains. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. So if you guys are ready to go to Epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Hope you guys are as ready for this gourmet burger as I am. I can literally feel my tummy growling, so let's just get this thing going. Come on. So the first thing we need is two slices of Texas toast. This is 120 calories a slice. What we wanna do is take some zero calorie butter spray and hit both sides of each piece of bread. And then we'll just take some Italian seasoning and sprinkle a little bit of that on each side. And once you got them hit with butter spray with that seasoning on there, just set them off to the side. Now what we need is 336 grams of 96% lean ground beef. And I split that into two piles that are even. What I'm gonna go in and do is patty both of them up. What I like to do is make a ball, press down on it, and I'm gonna make these patties as thin as I can because they're gonna cook faster that way and they're gonna fit our Texas toast even better. Man, look how massive these are. They're gonna shrink a little when we cook them, so don't be alarmed. Dad always said, never be ashamed at the size of your meat. I'm gonna hit each one with a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of black pepper. That's really all all these are gonna need. Now for this burger, we're actually gonna make some crispy onion rings. So what I did was took an onion, chopped it a few times, and made 47 grams of onion rings. And what we're actually gonna do is bread these so they're crispy and taste even better. In a flour bowl, we'll add about 10 grams of white flour and two grams of baking powder. Make sure we stir all this up. Feel free to throw some black pepper, garlic powder in here if you wanna add some more spice to it, but the way we did it, it's gonna be great. Then I'll just take an onion ring, dip it in an unsweetened almond milk bath, let it get coated, let the excess drip off, and then throw it down in my flour, flip it and toss it around till it has a nice coating. And then once it's got a nice little flour coating, I'll just toss it on a dry plate. And once our breading is on, we're gonna hit them with a little bit of nonstick. So now we'll start getting our bread ready. I got a large skillet preheated to medium heat, hit it with nonstick. Then I'm gonna set my Texas toast down in here to let it crisp up for about two to three minutes a side. And today we're really busting out the kitchen appliances. Comment below if you want me to make like a video of all the appliances I have in my kitchen. I can do that. Ninja Foodi air fryer, we're gonna use this for the onion rings. Then I have a little electric grill that we're gonna use for the burgers just to do it all at one time, save some time, get to eating quicker. So we set the air fryer to 400 degrees, spray the basket with some nonstick, and I'm gonna evenly spread my onion rings down in here. Space them to the best of your ability, that's what we're working with here. Then on my grill, I let it preheat, hit it with nonstick. Then I'll just set each of my burger patties right on here. Boom. We're gonna let these onion rings cook at about 400 degrees for like 10 minutes. I prefer to check them after that, make sure they're good, but you get the point. Let's go. And now we build. First thing I'll do is sit down one of my pieces of Texas toast and I'm gonna hit it with about 30 grams of fat-free ranch. Use a spoon and spread that out evenly. On top of that, I'll lay down one of my patties. Look at that, man, perfect size. On top of that patty, I'll lay my other patty. On top of that patty, I'll put a little bit of sweet and spicy sugar-free G Hughes barbecue sauce. Spread that out a little bit as well. On top of that, I will put our air-fried onion rings, which turned out perfect, by the way. Take a look at them. And then finally, we just put on our top bun. Would you look at that?
and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Texas Toast Double Barbecue Burger. This might possibly be the prettiest thing we've ever made on this channel, man. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you wanna see more intricate recipes like this, you gotta comment below and just let me know. We got that butter infused Texas Toast, nice and crispy. We got two massive lean patties, a slice of fat-free American cheese. We got our crispy air fried onions, that barbecue sauce, that ranch. I mean, come on, man, how can this not be good? But you already know what we gotta do. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's freaking go. I am so excited to eat this thing, man. I know it seems like a lot of work sometimes cooking, but like once you get to the finish line, right, you feel so accomplished. And when what you're making is this beautiful, like I always say, guys, you eat with your eyes first. And this one, I'm full up. Sour Moon Rock Amino Plus back in stock, man. I'm gonna go into a live scoop right now. A boom, boom. Eh. Ooh, so glad to have you back. Two scoops will fully flavor a gallon of water. And we had people asking if we were doing a Black Friday sale for the supplements. And we are actually not. Not because we don't want to. We've done them every year. It's just we literally do not have the inventory for it. If we do a Black Friday sale, we'll be sold out clear through Christmas and probably won't restock until like January, February. You guys know how much trouble we've been having keeping this stuff in stock. So a sale for us just ain't gonna happen for Black Friday. But the apparel to make up for it, any of our front of boss of legs apparel for Black Friday will be 40% off. That's almost half off. So we're going to make up for it in that way. So mark your calendars starting Friday, running all weekend. Code BOSS40 will save you 40% off, man. Get an anabolic wizard. I'm not, for the first time, I'm not wearing it. We can get you a pair of these joggers. We're going to have everything on there. So check it out, man. Findabossstorms.com. Code RGFTM will save you 10%. Now this is a massive burger, ladies and gents. Can you just, just whoa, take a look at, I mean, come on, man. That is truly a work of art and I'm tired of talking about it. Y'all seen it. You know what it looks like. I'll flip this sucker around and get a bite. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I can't even get my mouth around it. I couldn't even get my mouth around that. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Wow, folks. You got the beef, which is which is great. You got the fat-free cheese. You got the ranch at the bottom combining with that barbecue sauce. You take a bite. The bread's a little crispy the way we toasted it. Those on, I mean, it's like onion rings on this thing. Those are crispy and crunchy too. Jeez, there's just so much flavor competing right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. I know this one's a little more complex. And I'm not saying this is something you can make. I mean, you can make it every day. This is something when like you're thinking about you want that cheat meal. You want to go out. You really want a burger. Instead of giving into that, right? Having a 1200 calorie burger, way less protein than you need. You end up getting an appetizer, a few drinks. Next thing you know, you're set back. Something like this, you can make it a fun little kitchen experience. Whip it up, put it together, take pride in it. And then at the end, the best part is you get to eat it and you don't got to feel any guilt. And we put onions on something, which uh, that's our veggies for the day. We're counting it. I'm having a hard time vocalizing just how amazing this is and how much food this is. I mean, doesn't that look like you want to bite into it? I know you do. Gosh. A little messy, but incredible. So in this entire sandwich, if you make it exactly how I did it, all the ingredients, every step, what you end up with is for the whole thing, 770 calories, only 18 grams of fat, 87 grams of protein, 65 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. You gotta think, this is a massive meal here. 770 calories, that's a lot. But 87 grams of protein, 87. Almost a full pound of beef on this thing, right? We were able to keep that fat low, keep that protein high. We had onion, a deep fried onion rings that that we put a little twist on, right? This had everything. And to keep it only 770 calories, that's about 100 calories more than I have at a regular meal. And for me right now, I eat about 2,500 calories a day. So technically I could have about four of these in a day and my diet is good. And I'd be hitting about 300 and what is that? 40 grams of protein? Come on. Like I always say, the only two things you need to worry about in your diet is hitting your calorie goal every day, whatever that calorie goal is. Are you trying to cut? You're trying to bulk? You're trying to main gain? Whatever you're trying to do, you hit that calorie goal and then hit your minimum protein goal. Mine is about 200 grams of protein. So this is almost half of my daily protein right here. One sandwich. I mean, I'm not trying to hide myself up, but I really feel like I'm doing the Lord's work. This is just heaven, man. This is heaven. And eating something like this too, like takes away whatever cheat meal cravings I'm having. Cause this feels like a cheat meal. This tastes like a cheat meal. So that counts for something, right? Final bite. Let's freaking go. <sighs> wow. 10 out of 10. A plus. You got to try this one. I know some people are going to be scared by the amount of steps it looks like it takes, but it's really not that much. Once you get in there, you do it, you make this thing, it is well worth it. You already know, RGF Anabolic Cookbook, link in my description box, baby. This recipe is now in there along with every other one of my stupid, simple anabolic recipes. Dieting doesn't have to be boring, man. They've been lying to us and I'm sick of it. We can eat the foods we love as long as we make the better versions, we make the better choices, and we take a little time preparing that kitchen, man. All my anabolic knowledge locked in here. Plus, man, you get it one time 
time, anytime I add a recipe like this one, it gets added to the book. So you get it once, you get the future of that book for free, right? No brainer. Appreciate you guys as always for watching. Smash thumbs up for me if you like this video. Comment anything down below, helps the algorithm. Subscribe for more amazing anabolic recipes coming very soon. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Whew. Man, I'm full. I don't even, I'm, I'm good on that, bud. I'm full for once. Dang.